In today's video, I want to show you how you can easily create and build your landing page or linking bio page so you can share your photography work with the rest of the world. As a photographers, we focus on the photography process and often we forget how important it is to share the results. Since building a sophisticated portfolio website can be both expensive and time consuming, today I want to introduce you to the only platform that allows you to build your own page quickly and for free. Plus, on top of it, when you're ready to take your photography work one step further, the same platform can help you with invoicing, project management and much more. Ok, so the process of getting your own page starts at the oni.page website. If you want to see the full link, it's available in the description of the video and once you enter it, you will arrive to this page. Here, the first thing you need to do is to choose the name of your page. So for example, for me, we're going to simply call it Bors Photo. Once happy, click on Claim My Page and as you can see, that will bring us to next window. Now looking at the bar, the Bors Photo is available and I can say that simply by seeing this little green icon with a tick on it. If I would choose something else, for example, like Clever Photographer, you would see that it will give me a message that someone already using this link and I have to choose another one. So let's go back to Bors Photo and once that's done, we can then choose between registering with our Google account or email. So let's go with the email. I'm just going to use my personal one, jacob at borsphoto.com and once ready, just click on continue. Once you do that, the application will send the link into your mailbox, which you can then use to access the building platform. Once you arrive into the editor, you can start creating your own page. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is how you can create a simple link in bio page that you can use for your social media. So when the people click on the link in your bio, they will arrive to this page where you can then redirect them to other places. Now, coming back to our editor, let's have a look at the different options we have on our screen. Starting from the top left, we have an option to switch to Onigiri, and I will tell you more about it at the end of this video. Then moving on in the middle, you can see the actual page, which at the moment is quite empty, but we will fix that in a moment. Then moving on, we have an option to see the page in a desktop view as well as mobile view. Now that will be very handy when we're going to be building our link in bio page. Next option, we have the page settings. And when we click on it, you can see the actual link to your page. And soon you will be also able to adjust your appearance of the page and adjust the custom domain. For now, we can just close this and have a look at the final option here on the top, which is the share your page, where you can simply copy the link to this page and share it. Moving to the bottom here, you can click on this little bubble. And when you do that, you can chat with Nick or anyone from the Onigiri team, and they will be more than happy to help you with any questions you have about the platform. Then moving into the center, this is where you're going to control the different elements on your page and we will use that throughout this tutorial. Finally, the last option in the bottom left is to sign out and when you click on that, you basically sign out of your account. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the first thing we're going to build is the link in bio page. Now to do that, what I like to do is to switch my view into the mobile view. And the reason is that most of these link in bio pages will be viewed on mobile phone. So this way we can see immediately what the viewer going to see. Now, the first thing we need to do is to adjust our profile photo. And this can be your profile photo or it can be a logo. It's up to you. However, to set it up, you simply click on the little icon and then you select the photo from your hard drive. Once you're ready, you click on open 
and then it's going to take a few seconds and the profile photo will appear. Once you hover over the photo, you will see that you can change the shape of the photo from square into the circle. And then you can re-upload another photo by using this little icon with the cloud or you can use the bin icon to remove it. To re-upload it again, just click on the icon, select the photo and select open. With that being done, we need to add our name. So let's do that and then enter more information about you. For me, I'm just going to add a simple bio, something like this, where I'm saying that I'm landscape photographer and educator, and I'm based in West Sussex, England. With that being done, we have the top ready. After that, we can start adding our links. So let's start with my website. And to do that, we're going to navigate to the bottom of the screen where we're going to click on the little chain icon. Once you hover over it, you can see that it adds link. So when we click on that, it will basically open another window where we can now enter the link. So we're going to start with my personal website, simply paste it in and then click on paste. Once we do that, the link will appear. And now when we hover over it, we can change the shape. Here we starting with the square, then we can click on it and it will create this little button. Again, when you click on it, it will showcase the thumbnail of the website and so on. For the link in bio, I always suggest to use the second option of these little links and stick with that. Now, if we want, we can simply click on the text and adjust it. So let's say that we're going to call this my portfolio website. Once we're happy with that, we just click away and continue. After this, I also want to add my professional website, The Clever Photographer. So you know the workflow. We're going to click on the little chain again. Then we're going to copy the link, paste it in and click on paste. Again, adjust the shape, then adjust the text. And shape again. And we are done with that. So now we have the two websites there. And the next thing I would like to share are my social accounts. Now, before we do that, let's make a little divider. And to do that, we are just going to navigate into our bar and we're going to use the section title. So once we click on that, it will create a new section and we can change it name to, let's say, be social. With that being done, we can continue adding the links. So let's go ahead and add, for example, my Instagram account. Again, easily adjust the shape, add another one. This time we're going to add my YouTube account. And let's finish it off with my Facebook account. If you want, you can always adjust the text. So this can be your Instagram. This can be your YouTube and this finally the Facebook. Now to finish it off, let's create one more section where this one can be get touch. And finally, let's share a link to my contact page on my website. So I'm just going to copy the link, paste it in and click on paste. Again, adjust the shape and then just adjust the text to something like contact me here. Once finished, you can click away and that's the page ready. Now, just a few more things that you can do. You can simply drag the different links around to adjust them if you need. You can, of course, if you want, adjust the shape again. So we can have, for example, a two squares next to each other on the top. Then you can still also adjust the position of the headers and really adjust it as much as you need. Now, once you really finish, what you can do is to click on share your page in the top right corner, copy the link and then add it anywhere you need. So now we know how to create a simple LinkedIn bio page. However, you can also create a full landing page using the Oni platform. So let me show you how to do that. We are back in the editor. Again, it's empty and we are starting in a desktop view. Just like with the LinkedIn bio page, the first thing we should do is to upload our 
avatar or profile picture. Now again, this can be your own photo or it can be logo. However, to upload it, we just click on it, then select it in the location we have it ready and simply click on open. In a few seconds, the profile photo will appear and when we hover over it, we can adjust the shape from circle into the square or back to the circle. If you want, you can upload another photo using this little icon or you can use the bin to remove it. To upload it again, click on the icon, select the image and click on open. After this, we need to add name. Now, in this case, it's going to be my name. However, it can be name of your company, whatever you prefer. But for me, we're just going to add my name. With the name being added, we need to add little bio. Now, you can be as specific as you want. However, for me, I will add few details about me, who I am and where I am from. Quite nice touch is to add an extra space at the bottom. Add an emoji with a mail and maybe add your email address. So in my case, jacob at borsphoto.com. So now we have our profile image, we have the name and bio, and we can move on on building our page. So we're gonna start at the top adding my links or the links to my websites. So let's start by adding my personal website. So we're gonna click on the little link icon, and then we're gonna just copy and paste my website. Once we do that, we click on paste, wait the moment for it to upload, and then we're gonna adjust the shape into this little rectangle. We're gonna also adjust the name and we're gonna call it my portfolio. Or we can even call it my portfolio website. With that being done, let's also add my professional website, the cleverphotographer.com. So I'm just gonna quickly copy it, then we're going to click on the same icon, paste the link and click on paste. Again, adjust the text into clever photographer and change the shape. So now we have the two links on the top. Now moving into the next section, I would like to divide it. So you already know what to do. We're going to use the section title element. We can click on that and we're going to call it my portfolio. With that being done, we can now add image. So let's go ahead, click on the image. And what we're going to do, we're just going to select this little Scottish capture and we're going to click on open. Once it appears, we can hover over and adjust the shape into large square. We can change the caption into Scotland. Let's also add little Scottish flag. And finally, we're going to add a link to a specific part of my website, which contains Scottish images. So let's click on the link, copy the link and paste it in. Once the link is ready, we can just click on the arrow back and that's done. Now the same way we can add three more images to finish the overall look. And just like that, we now have a four images representing four parts of my portfolio and any visitor or viewer can simply click on the image and it will bring them into that specific part of my website. But we are not finished. Let's continue. Let's add another section and this time call it my workshops. With that being done, we can add few more elements. Let's again use the image icon. So we just click on that. So for example, this year I'm going to be running a photography workshop in Scotland. So let's select a Scottish image and click on open. And once it appears, we can then change the captions into something like Scottish workshop. 2024. And if we want, of course, we can add the link linking this image directly to the place of this workshop. And just like this, we can add few more workshops depending on your schedule and plan. And with that being done, now the visitors can simply click on the image or the icon and that will direct them to a new page where they can find out more about this specific workshop. And now to finish it off, let's add one more section, which we can call my gallery. 
and let's add few images using the same image icon and select few images to add. So we got to do this one by one. So we're going to add one image and just like that, add few more images so we can continue. Now with the images added, you can be really creative. You can adjust the shapes and play around with it. So for example, this image is more a landscape shape. So you can adjust that. Then you can also make some of the squares a little bit bigger. So to play around it and don't forget that you can dry the shapes around. Now let's maybe adjust this one and let's see if we have one more similar so we can place them next to each other somewhere around here. So we can do this that we can position this here and we really just need one more photo. So let's make this a little bit bigger and create something like this. So don't forget that you can move the shapes around and also that you can very easily adjust their shape. Once you finish, this all looks very good. You can then double check the rest of the page. We have our workshops, we have the portfolio, we have our website links, and we are pretty much finished. Of course, that if you would want, you could add your social media links, same way we have added the website, or you could enter them into your bio. It really is up to you. Now, once you are happy with everything, don't forget to change your view into the mobile view to see what you created and to make sure that everything looks right. So starting from the top, the bio and the profile image is good. Then we have the two links to the website. However, I think in my portfolio, maybe these images are a little bit too big. So we can adjust the space and size using the icons again. So let's use the smaller squares and let's do the same for the final image and just move it around. Then double check the workshops that all look good and the gallery looks great as well. So everything is fine. Going back to the desktop, all you need to do is to click on share your page, copy the link and then paste it in a web browser to see that everything looks well. And once you finish, all you need to do is to share the link. Now, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that the same platform can help you with invoicing and project management. That specific part of this platform is called Onigiri. Now to access it, what you can do in the editor is to go to the top left corner and click on switch to Onigiri. That will bring us to the similar registration form as you seen where we were creating our Oni account. Here again, you can use Google or your email. So let's go ahead and add the email and click on continue. Now the platform will send an email to your mailbox and you can use that to log in. Once you log in, you will enter the Onigiri platform where you can look after your clients, your projects, invoices, and so on. On the top of it, when you use the page icon at the bottom, you can then move back into your editor and edit your page from here. Again, once you're ready, you can click on save and close and go back to the Onigiri platform. To find out more about the Onigiri platform, follow the link in the description of this video. And once you get there, don't forget to use the 14 day free trial to test it and see if it's suitable for your business. On the top of it, if you decide to subscribe to it, make sure that you use the discount code in the description of our video so you get an additional discount. And that's it for today. If you have any questions about today's tutorial or Luminar Neo in overall, then make sure that you write them in the comment section under this video. If you did enjoy today's tutorial, then please go ahead and like and share it. And also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our future content. For today, thank you very much for watching and I already can't wait to see you in the next video.